groups in Jira. In this tutorial, we are going to have a look at the main purposes of Jira groups. We'll get familiar with uh, different usages of groups. Also learn how you can create a new group in Jira, how to add new users to Jira group, and how to set up a default group. Group in Jira is simply a collection of users, and it is being used for five main purposes. First, groups allow you to unite users in a group and grant them global permissions or project-specific access. Second, you can subscribe a group to receive notifications triggered by some event, for example, as a creation of an issue. Third, you can manage access to issue filters and dashboards using groups. Then uh, you can also create different conditions for your workflow based on a group membership to allow only a specific set of users to transition issues. And the last, you can also integrate groups with project roles. We'll have a brief look at how you use groups in Jira for all of these five purposes. But first, let's have a look how you can view all your Jira groups in Jira. So let's access the groups management page by going to the cog icon, selecting system, here on the tab selecting user management, and here in the left bar selecting groups. This action will bring you to the groups management page which you can alternatively access by simply pressing GG on your keyboard and writing groups in the search bar, pressing enter. And it will also bring you to the same page, but in a much quicker way. So as you can see, we have already two groups in Jira, which Jira creates by default when you just install the application. These groups are Jira administrators, and Jira software users, or if you have installed Jira core, it would be Jira core users, depending on the applications that you have installed, Jira will create an appropriate group for you. These groups are being used for different purposes. Jira administrators group contains people who are Jira system administrators, and by default, this group is member of the Jira administrators project role and has Jira administrators and Jira system administrators global permissions. And membership of this group usually should be limited to a few Jira administrators or few super users because it provides an unlimited access to management of your applications and you don't want to give it to many people for security purposes. It is recommended to never delete or alter permissions this group because it could limit the accessibility to the Jira instance. And let's have a look now at the Jira software users group. And by default, this group has the following permissions, browse users, create shared filter, bulk change, and manage group subscriptions. And this is a um, group which is optional for users groups. It may be used if uh, your Jira instance has a very small number of users that require very generic and standard access. It can be deleted if your Jira instance requires more sophisticated group management. But if you just happy with any generic access, just leave this group as it is. So these two groups are being created by default in Jira, and you can easily create your new group by writing here the name of the new group, for example, developers, and clicking the add group button. It is necessary to note here that each user can belong to more than one group at a time, making groups a useful and flexible tool for managing users' permissions and notifications. So you can also delete any groups that you like, like here, for example. 
if you are not happy anymore with the existence of this group. But you should be aware that when you aim a group, it can affect Jira functionality. So you should be aware of the consequences. Before deleting a group, actually, you should make sure that it is not being used in any permissions, hymns, email notifications, hymns, saved filters, or issue security levels, because groups can affect those. For example, if this new group, developers, if this group was the only conveyor of a permission for a user, then the user will have no longer access granted by this group when you delete this group. To bring it in other words, for example, if this group was granted access to some uh, issue level and this user and, and was the sole conveyor of the access to this issue, and then you delete this group and all the users that were members of uh, the developers group won't be able anymore to access that issue. So be very careful when you delete groups and double check all the permissions that were assigned to this group and be careful. So far, you should know how to add new users into Jira and how to create groups. So let's combine these two knowledge and add a user to a group. So let's go to the users and in the actions here, let's add our pass, for example to group developers, right? The join selected group. Let's go back to the groups. And we see that developers has one user. We can see members. Here we can see that uh, bus is included in the developers group. On the same page, actually, we can also add uh, new members, for example, bar. If it exists, if it doesn't exist, Jira will throw us an exception that uh, we cannot add user bar because it doesn't exist. So let's add admin. Okay, admin exists. So we have uh, two users in this group now. And as you could see, our admin is a member of uh, Jira administrators group. And he is also a member of uh, developers group here. And this is uh, when you click on edit, you can also delete, remove selectors, users from the group like this is so easy. So this is a page where you manage the membership of your groups. There are a few things to be noted that if the group has the Jira system administrators global permission, like this one, you cannot edit its membership unless you have the Jira system administrator as global permission. Now I'm logged in as uh, Jira system administrator as well. And uh, as you can see, so far there are no uh, permission schemes associated with this group. But as I said, by default, this group enjoys also Jira system administrator permission. Uh, so if I didn't have the Jira system administrator's global permission, I wouldn't be able to delete this group. But because I'm locked in as Jira admin with Jira system administrators, not just Jira uh, administrator's global permission, I uh, could delete this group. And if you have limited number of uh, user license, so personal license, and for example, if you have uh, reached the limit of your license, then you won't be able to assign any further users to groups with uh, login permissions. 